Don't put a shirt on, please. She's fine. All right, go play. I am going to sit on the porch and try to find some motivation to do the rest of my day. So two nights ago, we didn't really get any sleep. Uh, some nights, some nights Stevie Wren just doesn't sleep, but the other night it was because she had a cold. So we didn't sleep very much that night. And then yesterday when I should have been resting from that tired night, instead I was preserving and cleaning the house because I had motivation to do so, so I did it. And today I'm feeling the backlash of that. So today I'm feeling that tired that I should have felt yesterday and that's okay because it is Friday which means that soon I will have Paul's assistance for a couple days around the house with the kids but I do have some stuff I want to get done today I would like to get some pepper jelly made up I've never done that but I need to bring in all of the peppers from the garden because we are either chilly like in the 40s at night and the high 60s during the day or were rainy and both of those things are not ideal for peppers so I have peppers rotting and then I have peppers just not growing because it's too cold so I'm going to pull everything off of the plants this is what I'll be looking at because I did pull some the other day most of the peppers we planted were carmen peppers because they're our favorite but we're not getting a whole lot of ripe ones because we're not we don't have the sun and the heat this year for it so a whole lot of green carmens will be coming in i need to pick the pole beans as well we have some purple pole beans out there that are ready i'm just going to enjoy the porch for a minute and let the sun warm me up because it was chilly this morning we're going to be chilly for the rest of the year now we're probably done being warm heading into October. I did pick up my Azure Standard Order yesterday, which was probably what like kind of got me going. When I have something I have to go do first thing in the morning, I notice that uh, my motivation is higher once I get home. And my Azure Standard Orders are pretty small. I don't order great big huge ones. Our drop is fairly big. Um, our drop coordinator does a great job. Just ordered a few things like usual. I'm still testing out to see like what we are actually going to use in bulk and I'm still getting this house kind of transformed into that uh, type of setting. I also got in, our coffee came in yesterday. We bounce back and forth between two different companies. We have um, a few companies here in Maine that roast their own coffee beans and we have two that are our favorites that we really love and I'll leave their websites linked below because they do ship and the stuff is just phenomenal. Once you have coffee from either of these places, it's hard to go through a drive through place and get coffee. But the one we ordered in, oh, I can smell it. <laughs> I love that. Mm. The one we ordered in and got in yesterday is Green Tree Coffee and Tea Company. And I love going to this place. It's about an hour drive, so we don't go often. When you walk into their cafe where you can order like an espresso or whatever, they have this giant wall of loose leaf teas that you can weigh up yourself, you know, by the ounce, you pay by the ounce. And that was like heaven for me. I walked in and I was like, oh my God. I could spend some money in here. We like their Harbor Dog. And then my favorite that we just tried last time was Christmas Cheer. This one's delicious. I really like this one. They ship extremely quick. I ordered this two days ago. Three days ago and it came in yesterday. So it came in two days after I ordered it. So they're really, really quick. The other company we ordered from, uh, Moses Dyer. They tend to take a little while to ship because they only ship on like one day a week. They send out like all of the shipping from like the week prior or something like that. They explained it to me. So sometimes if you're not like paying attention and you don't order like before that time's up to get it shipped like that following Monday or however it works, then you can take like a 
couple of weeks to get your coffee. <laughs> I'm one of those people that like, I, I make the mistake of almost running out before I order more and I'm like, oh no, I need to order more. So these guys are quick, which I like, but uh, Moses Dyer coffee is absolutely delicious. Leave them both linked below if you guys want to check it out. It is so worth the money to buy whole bean local roasted coffee. I found some motivation, at least motivation enough to pick up the basement or the cellar and try to make some pepper jelly for the first time. The recipe is pretty basic. Uh, it's, I have like four or five cups of regular bell peppers out of our garden right here and then I'm just going to add in just one jalapeno out of the garden because the kids nor Paul like spicy foods. I'm the only one that really enjoys spicy food so I don't want this to be super spicy but I do want kind of the flavor profile of the jalapeno being in there. I might just put half of this jalapeno in there actually. Then it was just like one cup of apple cider vinegar or white vinegar. I'm going to do apple cider vinegar because I think that flavor profile will be better. And five cups of sugar. Your pectin measured to the amount of fruit and sugar that's in here. And that was it. And it was just basically cook it down like you would any jelly can it up, water bath it for five minutes, and you're good to go. I did go ahead and squeeze an orange worth of juice, orange juice in there, because I bought some pepper jelly at a farmer's market once, and it was like an orange pepper jelly, and it was so good. So I did squeeze some orange juice in there, and I'm just going to make one batch to start to make sure that I like this recipe. And then I'll probably make at least two more batches because I'll probably put this stuff on everything, if I'm being honest. I eat a lot of uh, Thai chili sauce and stuff like that, so this is very similar. I like pepper anything, so I think I'll probably use this a lot. And then, of course, we can use it on meats. So I did put just the half of the jalapeno in there. I think that's going to be plenty for my family's preferences. I have a million of these pretty nice sized jalapenos out in the garden that I need to pick. But first I need to get through all the produce that's in the house. Okay. So one cup of apple cider vinegar. Okay, so you act, add the pectin, bring it to a boil, and then add the sugar. But I don't use pectin often enough to like, just kind of know how to do it. And this is the low sugar one, because I don't use a lot of sugar in my fruit jellies and jams. So hopefully it works all right, because I probably am going to add the full amount of sugar to this, but I guess I don't have to if I don't want to, considering this is the pectin I'm using. If you are a stickler <laughs> about canning rules, I apologize. You're probably losing your mind right about now. Um, I've been canning long enough that I'm comfortable with like kind of going with the flow. Um, I pressure can what should be pressure cans. I water bath can what should be water bath cans. And anything else is kind of just a wing it type thing for me and that's just kind of how I roll in this kitchen. I'm not sure I really want this to be like jelly anyways. I kind of want this to be more of like a sauce type thing. So if it doesn't set super gel like and hard, I'm not really going to complain. All right, I'm going to get it on the stove and get it to a boil. So I ended up only doing three and a half cups of sugar, which I think was plenty. I can't imagine putting any more sugar in this. So I'm going to go ahead and put it into the jars and get it in the um, canner. And we'll see what it looks like when we get back and it's done. I did taste it a little bit and I think I'm going to be pretty darn obsessed with this.
so there's a little tiny bit left in the pot which is great because I'm gonna throw that in the fridge and use it right up but this looks pretty darn yummy I'm pretty excited about this it's already looking like it wants to set up so I'm gonna get it in the canner for five minutes and then let it cool and uh, do its thing So this is the end product, and I'm really happy that it's not like jelly jelly yet yeah, anyways, it still has time to set, but it's looking beautiful, and it's looking sauce-like, and I'm excited to use it. I got six jars, and I think I'm definitely going to make one more batch. Thanks for joining me, guys. <coughs> Have a happy weekend and happy homesteading.